A new force in the fight against crime in San Francisco. The city has expanded its community ambassador program right there in the Mission District after merchants reported a spike in crime in that area. NBC's Yomara Lopez had exclusive access to that ambassador training session and shows us the plans to connect with the neighborhood trying to take back the streets. I walk the streets of the mission with the new ambassadors. They show me the places where they're going to be interacting with the community. Their goal is to repair the heart of the largest Latino corridor in San Francisco, a corridor that has been plagued by violent crime. A few days ago, I was invited to walk along with two members of the first ambassador program in the Mission District of San Francisco. Filiberto Hernandez is one of the Spanish-speaking ambassadors. His role is crucial. He'll be interacting with community members who don't speak English and are sometimes afraid to speak up because of their immigration status. So they can respond as merchants are bringing up a concern, an issue, who do they call, how do they report it. Liana Ponce de Leon, the director of economy development for the city, says the ambassador's goal, besides providing health, housing and safety resources to those who need it, will be to help plan public events for mission families. So activating the plazas so that there's celebrations, so that there's cultural activities, um, to provide that sense of safety for families. According to the latest crime stats, police have seen an increase in robberies and vehicle thefts in the mission compared to the same time last year. This merchant who didn't want to show his face for fear of retaliation says his car had been broken into multiple times and on one occasion, he says, thieves stole close to $13,000 in merchandise. He also tells me he's been threatened with a gun before. In April, the owner of the Snell Salon told me her son survived a stabbing after a group of men attempted to rob him. They threw him on the floor, Irma says, pointed a gun at him. They also had knives, and I had to interfere to save my son. They didn't have to be in those situations. That's just the hands and the cards that they were, they were dealt. So our jobs as connectors, we try to help. That's why the ambassadors say preparation is at the core of their training. But when you go up to someone, of course, you don't want to give them your back. You want to come up to them, hey, my name is... You with know, the city investing $2 million in the program. And then when you approach somebody in a, in a calm manner, it's going to make them feel safe. And On their last day of training, we so found them practicing real-life scenarios. Their goal right is right? ambitious, take back the mission so residents feel safe. We use everything we get, we learn in our training. We need to use it out on the streets, take it to help the community, get them the resources that they need and the help that they're seeking. Their program will last for one year. After that, leaders will evaluate if it had a positive impact on the community and will then to determine their next step to keep the mission safe. In San Francisco, I'm Yomara Lopez, NBC, Bay Area News.